and welcome to Total Singing Dojo here on YouTube and TotalSinging.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. You can also go to the box shop uh, and to look at my uh, vocal products that I have for sale there. If you're a cool person, you look down in the link below there and you can get both my vocal courses, male and female versions, just for $50 for being a cool person and watching this video. What I'm going to talk to you today is the difference between singing out of pitch and out of key. These terms tend to be used interchangeably by sort of uneducated people um, when they're, they are not the same thing. Singing off pitch and singing out of key are two separate things. Now let's go with the first one. What is singing out of key? Well singing out of key is you're singing the right notes, the right melody, but it's not in the key that the song is in. Now, I had a student who, who did this and it was the first person I've ever come across that had this problem. Now let's say the song's in A, right? And the melody is, let's say, just a five-tone A scale, right? Right? He was singing the G five-tone scale. Right? So he was doing over this. See, the notes are technically correct. They're on pitch, but they're out of key for the song. Now, off pitch is the pitch that you're singing is not matching the pitch that you want to sing. You know, that's off pitch. It also can be out of key, but you can just be slightly enough off pitch where you're not technically out of key yet. Almost there, but not quite. You're still in, sort of in the key of the song, but you might be a quarter step out, but you're not quite on pitch. That's on pitch. Now, how can we get out of that? What time, when people tend to sing out of key, is they're singing where it's comfortable for them. And they're not, people tend to do this when they tend to sing songs without the music. When they're trying to recall a song, they kind of just sing it in the key that's comfortable for them to remember it or to sing it in, and not in the actual key that the song is in. Um, I used to work with a singer that did that all the time, and he would go, how come, you know, when I sing along to the song, it seems much higher than when I sing it by myself? Because you're singing it by yourself in a different key. Um, so, <clears throat> that's a little bit harder to train, a little bit, uh, I don't want to make the video too long to explain how to get out of that. But let's just first just deal with the second one, which is singing off of pitch. How can you start to sing better on pitch? So you'll be actually be in key as well. Um, that is, start with a simple note that is easy for you. Um, find, uh, if you have a keyboard at home or a guitar, or get a keyboard app for your phone or whatever, or your tablet, do not use a guitar tuning app to sing to to get the pitch, right? with the needle going back and forth and all that kind of stuff. They are not designed for the human voice. They're designed for a guitar string which has a defined length and is vibrating at a set uh, vibration. The human voice fluctuates and so because it's a living thing. So it doesn't stick straight on a note. It fairly fluctuates a little bit above, a little bit below. Now there are some people that sing almost exactly perfectly on pitch. Steve Perry was one of these people that his pitch was nearly perfect every single time he does. Brian Wilson back in the day was also perfect pitch, um, could sing in perfect pitch, Karen Carpenter as well. Um, but that's the, the exception, not the norm. Most people kind of have to try to find the note. And this is how you find the note. If you find that a note is, is um, or you're having trouble just with pitch in general, get an app, get a keyboard, get a guitar, and have a defined pitch. And sing to it and listen with your ear. The human brain cannot detect a pitch that is off from its frequency center less than two cents, what they call cents or degrees, sharp or flat, right? So if I'm a little off, now a guitar tuning app might tell me I'm a little flat or a little sharp to that note, but to the human ear, I'm on pitch. And if I was to watch that on a an app, it would probably go on pitch, off, but a little bit, it would move around. Sometimes it would be on the pitch, a little flat, a little sharp. 
That's because the human voice is moving. So it's never stuck in a set uh, length. Uh, now, if you feel you sing it and it's a little off, uh, like a guitar, tuning the peg, right? Uh, that's what you want to do. You want to slide around until you find the pitch and then stop. So we start. Um, now, if you start the pitch, the way to reinforce the pitch is to slide down, slide up, and then find the pitch and center it. Um, and go up. Um, it's also really good to work out your kind of um, sort of bends and runs with notes. This is also another good way to start building that as well. Um, slide around till you find it. Um, and once you get it, hold that position, go back, hit the note again. Um, uh, uh, uh. Now if you're scooping into the note, keep going until that scoop becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. Until you can just land right on the note. to test is to play a note, stop, and then sing it, and then retest to see if you remembered where that note is. What you're trying to do here is you're trying to uh, connect what the brain is hearing to what it's telling the vocal cords to do, where it's telling it to approximate to for that particular pitch. And it has to build in a memory of that pitch, of the position where that pitch occurs. So what you do is you go... pick notes. Right? And see if you can immediately match the pitch after hearing it. This is now telling you that if you can do it without scooping. pitch is on the vocal cords, right? Um, your brain remembers where to stretch for that particular pitch, and it can recall that stretch in the blink of an eye. And this is how to better get a grasp on your pitch. And I also clarified the difference between singing off-key and off-pitch. So next time, this is Kevin Richards here at the Total Singing Dojo, totalsinging.com on the web for voices world, worldwide. Keep rocking, keep practicing, see ya.